The unauthorized operation was facilitated by a certain individual who complained to police in Wewak about a minor traffic infringement involving Tony Wawau, a Mai villager from the Nuku district. The raid for Wawau resulted in the burning down of three houses, destruction of private properties and threatening of people's life and open gunfire. Wawau was away in Aitape during the incident when his house was broken into, his generator, vehicle parts and household goods were looted and transported to Wewak. In another incident last December, Wawa was forced off an Air New Guinea flight in Wewak bound for Port Mosby and taken to the Wewak police station where he was detained for 50 hours. He was released after two days without any charges and his family are still living in fear. The entire allegation will be investigated and those included will be charged accordingly and prosecuted. Meanwhile, investigations into another illegal raid at the ex service compound in Angoram district are nearing completion. The team have re-arrested a member of the illegal police or ID24 in relation to the rape of a 16-year-old girl and threatening of two female witnesses. Tekla Gunga, National MTV News.